first thing you need to do to use the preflight functions is to download the correct preflight profiles from our website. Go to jsmccarthy.com and under prepress select PDFs. And then scroll down on that page and you'll see that there's some JSM PDF preflight profiles that are available from there. Go ahead and download those profiles and save them someplace where you'll be able to get to them later. Then switch into Acrobat and go into Advanced, Print Production, Preflight. The preflight window will load up and in that window you can load a new profile by going into Options, Import Preflight Profile, navigate to the profile that you've downloaded and then select it and choose Open and that will add it into Acrobat. And we have several preflight profiles that we've saved. One here for CMYK only, one for both CMYK and spot colors, and one for spot colors only. So you can choose the preflight profile that matches the type of job that you're trying to print. So to use a preflight profile in Acrobat, all you need to do is to select it and then go to Analyze down here at the bottom. And that's going to go ahead and check the file against all of the different issues that we've programmed that profile to look for. So in this case, the profile comes back and it's telling us a bunch of different issues. Here it's highlighting the issue we found earlier with registration color. Next, it's telling us that there's a spot color used inside the trim in two places. If we tick this open, it'll tell us that there are several elements that are set in either Pantone 185 here or in a spot red. And if you want to see where that element is, you can select it and choose Show and Snap and it will show you in the snap view over here the element in question. In this case it's showing us the line down here. If you want to see that a little bit more clearly you can also double click on the element and it will highlight it so we can see that this red line is actually set in a spot color. Same thing goes for the type. This exclamation point is in a spot color. If we double click on it here it'll highlight it in the file. So this preflight will show you where the problems are and it will help you find exactly where they are in your PDF file so you can go in and fix them. And if we continue going down the list we'll see that there are issues with RGB and that's showing us this image that we found earlier was an RGB and there are issues with resolution on that same image. So most likely this file was set up with a, a low res FPO in place. We'd like to see a resolution of at least 300 dpi, but if you don't have access to a higher resolution image, we can print it at the lower res, it just doesn't look quite as good. Now once you have these issues discovered, you can go ahead and create a report that gets saved with the file. We can save this wherever we'd like, and it will highlight all of the issues that it finds in that PDF. And now if you take a look at this, you can see that there's a summary page that shows you all of the errors that it found. And then if you go to the next page, it will highlight all of those errors in the file. And we can go ahead and tick open our layers over here, and then we can show just the problems where there are spot colors in use, where there's an RGB, where the resolution is too low or transparency is used. And in our workflow, transparency use is OK. So this is just set as a warning. So that's something that you can save and then send off someplace to let someone else know of the issues that you found with this particular PDF. Now that's a way that you can check a single file to look out for issues. Acrobat also has built-in tools that allow you to save preflight droplets and droplets will let you do multiple files at once. If you go into Options and choose Create Preflight Droplet, it'll pop open a window that lets you choose the profile you want to check with. You can choose what happens when something succeeds or fails. In this case you're going to move the PDF file into one place, one folder. You're going to move it into an error folder if it doesn't succeed and you can have it create a report, just like I showed you a second ago. And then you click on the error folder to pick the folder that you want to use for failures, and the success folder to pick the folder you want it to use for successes. Now we've already got one of these droplets saved, so let's go ahead and cancel out of this, and let's see how that would work. So we've got several files here. We're going to go ahead and select a couple of them and we're just going to drag them right into the droplet that we saved earlier. That's going to open the files up in Acrobat 
and it will open up a small run list with each of the files indicated on it, and it will tell you what it finds as it goes through to process them. So you can see a red X indicates that the file failed, and a green check mark indicates that it succeeded. When it's done, it's going to go ahead and create a report for you, and open that up in Acrobat, and it's going to summarize all of the issues that it found. So it's telling you that three of these four files failed, and one of them succeeded. And then if I click at the name on the name of the file up at the top, it'll take me to the summary for that file. So I can see exactly what the issues are. And now if I click on Open, it will take me into the actual summary here. So I can read a little bit more closely. You can go back find the original files that have problems, and go ahead and fix them. You can see it moved all of these into the failure folder, and it saved a report for each one, and I can go ahead and open that report up to see the specific issues for that particular file. So that's how you can save a preflight droplet and run through many PDFs at once to look for issues. And all of our profiles are available on our website, so you can go ahead and download those and, and try them out. And if you do find that they need to be changed a little bit for your own specific needs, you're welcome to go ahead and do that. You can do that by clicking on the name of the profile under Imported Profiles, and click on Edit, and then you can set the settings on here as you need for your own uses. So that's it. You can use a preflight droplet for making changes or making checks on several files at once. You can customize that to look for issues, and in many cases fix those issues as well. There are PDF fix-ups on here that are available to convert to CMYK, to embed fonts, to do all sorts of changes to the files that, that you might need in a normal production environment. And if you have any questions about setting up preflight profiles, please feel free to contact me.